What is your hope with gambling? So who introduced you to gambling? That's my friend. Guys, I hope you're enjoying. This is the sixth village in Kibera. Dead, dead small babies thrown in such garbage. So the structures, they build mud, mud houses. And then on top they build, we have um, youth projects. We party like rock stars. This is one of the biggest reaches that I have in my compound. So do you feel like you're addicted to gambling? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think this is the end of my gambling. Uh, beautiful. In Africa, they say, if you bring somebody to your backyard, uh, there's something we call chapodondo. Let me tell you something about Kenyans. Happy birth month to us, February ba babies. I wonder why you don't have 10 million subscribers. Um, the next word am I of Africa? <laughs> If you don't know what am I, go to what am I. Subscribe and say you're from Victor's with Victor. And also of importance, I think I want to crown I am Marwa. I met I am Marwa's son already. He visited us here in Kibera. That is my Yugno. Africa is rich. This guy has spent 200,000. That's about $2,000. Yes. <laughs> How much have you made from gambling? Give Vin and Lenny their credits. Um, if you are new here, please remember to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 3k by the end of the month. It's my birthday month, and you guys <laughs> share the love. Amani, which is peace, Undugu, which is brotherhood. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy walking around this area of Kibera because it's not clean even up to this point. You see, it's very black and dark. Hola, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning from my land here, Kibira, Africa, Nairobi. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting Victors with Victors. We're just coming out of the celebratory mood, but every day is celebration for Victors with Victors. We party like rock stars, party! <laughs> I'm just looking at this plant. So here we have an avocado plant, uh, uh, tree. Uh, it's already... Uh, giving out the fruits you can see this is one of the biggest reaches that i have in my compound avocados if you have a love if you love avocados drop it so here we have an avocado plant shout out to share with john check out share with john link on bio on description and subscribe to his youtube channel so he's also on the camera so he's just planting this i've been trying to plant this uh, so i've been working with john for four years now yeah yeah and i've had this place for nine years this is the 10th year the 10th year right and i've been trying to plant this avocado it's really nice so i can take it to the village and i've never been able to plant it i've been planting it it comes out and then i forget it dies because also i used to travel a lot and then i would leave somebody to take care of them it dies john has managed to plant this He's planted a good number of them and mangoes as well, yeah? Yeah, mangoes. So we look forward to how this is going to be. Uh, John gave me permission. Uh, John is also going to plan in his village. We are all from Western Kenya. And um, John has given me permission. So he's gifting me this. So when I'm going to my mom, to the village to continue building, I'm going to plant this. Wish us all the best. Uh, remember, share with John, support him. So thank you very much John for this one and I wish you all the best for these ones that are growing. It's a growth year and a growth month for us as Victor's with Victor in the team. And so to see this growth, this is going to be Victor's Victor Avocado <laughs> in the village. There are two. Yeah, there are actually two, but separating them might be difficult. Yeah. That's the thing we'll see when we are planting it. Uh, but um amazing this is great now i bring you guys to my backyard this is beautiful in africa they say if you bring somebody to your backyard backyard that's a true friend so i appreciate your support guys so i'm eating chapati this is brown chapati you want to show them for breakfast i didn't work out today usually i don't eat i eat mangoes for breakfast uh but um i'm a bit angry and i want to go and get content for you guys so I decided to eat chapati. These are made by John. So John runs the guest house and he makes great chapatis and great uh, samosas. 
um i i know everybody knows samosas samosas are everywhere so we started planting this we just making an is uh, we're trying to build make an extreme makeover for the guest house so when you guys come to visit you get something good we also managed to plant grass uh, again i've worked with people in the past nine years and we've done all this it's quite expensive to plant grass in nairobi so I've done all this and I was kind of getting tired with it and John was like, yo, try me. And John has just been doing an amazing work. More reason to go and check him out and support him. I know he's been doing videos at the guest house more than I am. Uh, so go and check out his uh, YouTube channel and his shares. This is more his home. So Chapati here in Nairobi or in Kenya is taken for breakfast. Sometimes for lunch, uh, there's something we call Chapodondo. I'll go eat Chapodondo and show you guys. But um, Chapari actually is not Kenyan. Originally it's Indian. But let me tell you something about Kenyans. We take things and we turn them to be ours. We make them great again and we make them be ours. In every way. So Chapari is Indian. Typically an Indian family chapari is normal but then kenyans took it and made it their own kenyan make special chapati different from the indian chapati so that's how chapati has become kenyan chapati is more famous in kenya than in india correct me if i'm wrong if i'm wrong in the comment section yeah but i'm gonna enjoy my chapati so uh back to it from the celebratory first and foremost i want to say thank you for the overwhelming overwhelming but the wishes i try so very much to answer to every comment on the comment section and i celebrate everyone we are already starting to create a rapport and a relationship with some of my supporters and my viewers and it feels like home first and foremost to my jamaican mom claire <laughs> happy birthday to dad i know today is your dad's birthday uh, and for all the fab babies, um, we really appreciate and celebrate you as well. I tried so much. Uh, for those who had who shared a birthday month, I was trying to get some of your emails and I wasn't able to catch some of them. But for those who I got uh, their emails, I made sure I sent a special email to them. Wishing them a very beautiful happy birthday. Happy birth month to us, February ba babies. Um, over with the birth month, I mean, as we celebrate, I gotta give you guys more content on what we are doing. And also, I wanna be grateful to Claire. Claire is also supporting a project in Nyeri. Uh, shout out to Claire. Can you imagine how I meet amazing people through the content that we do on YouTube? So I'm gonna be heading down, I'm not sure when, but I'm gonna be heading down to the project that Claire is supporting and I'll meet that lady and hopefully uh, we can connect and I can share the story of this lady on our YouTube channel. Hello Claire! <laughs> I promise this, I'll do it. Nyeri is a drive from Nairobi. We live, we live, we live by the We live by the, we live we live by the airport and that's probably like a private uh, helicopter and uh, so what what was I saying so um I got also an email and uh, from Claire and it was very special I really appreciate you guys and uh, thank you feel free to write me an email my email is down there on this description um, I've been getting crazy emails and I'm loving I'm loving most of them I'm loving a lot of them one of the things that I'm really grateful for, I've been looking at a lot of YouTubers from Africa and generally from the world, I'm very fortunate to be having genuine energy and genuine people. I don't really get negative, which is crazy to think of and I'm loving it. We have about uh, 2,140 subscribers as at now. <laughs> we are chasing 3,000 hopefully by the end of the month so if you know somebody that knows somebody send them the link so they can subscribe and then we grow the family but I think of importance to me uh, there's an email that I received 
and this person was like oh victor your videos are great i like everything uh, content I appreciate that and then the last question was i wonder why you don't have 10 million subscribers first and foremost thank you for the wish and then not that i don't want it i'm really enjoying uh connecting with the small circle that we are right now like i said i'm responding i'm enjoying responding to the comments it's me and to responding to your comments and it's really building me and encouraging me to do more uh claire also mentioned uh that um she prophesies she prophesies that um, the next Wodemaya of Africa. <laughs> if you don't know Wodemaya, go to Wodemaya. Subscribe and say you're from Victors with Victor. I appreciate this. This is one of the YouTubers that set the bar for Africa. And um, somebody that I really watch closely and uh, connect to the work that he does around the globe. Um, as I grow, um, I hope to meet Wodemaya and in Kenya we have Ayam Marwa. Um, I met Ayam Marwa's son already, he visited us here in Kibera, that is my Yugno. Uh, my YouTube parents Vin and Lenny are connected to Ayam Marwa. So I really hope to do Ayam Marwa's story because I think it's a very inspirational and powerful story. I don't know where I'm, I'm going down there. Uh, but I really plan to have a sit down with uh, I am Mara. With I am Mara for me, because I see a lot of YouTubers that I've seen gone there, go there to cloud cheese. Uh, sorry, that's probably not uh, the best word. But I think they are thrilled and uh, overwhelmed by I am Mara's story. And um, so am I. But what I'm interested from I am Mara is more of the inspiration. Uh, the God, as you guys already know, uh, Victor's with Victor's wants to guide, inspire, tell stories as well. I wanna, if I meet Ayam Marwa and we are not able to be on video, I'm perfectly okay because I have, I have questions that I really am curious about Ayam Marwa that I think would help me. And also of importance, I think I wanna crown Ayam Marwa. I wanna crown him for real, for real, for real. Uh, in my culture, there is a uh, traditional crowning for somebody who's done great. And I want to give him his flowers. One of the things that um, Claire, my Jamaican mom, said, I received a long email from Claire this morning. And I really appreciate it. She said, Africa is rich. But Africans are missing support. Africans, as Africans, I think it's high time we realize our potential and how rich we are the resources the potential that we have and also the influence that we have uh, in africa and uh, support each other uh, to be able to grow africa and that's what i appreciate about kibera uh youtube family that was started by uh, vin and lin was founded by vin and lenny and uh so for me, I want to give Ayamara his credits, like I always give Vin and Lenny their credits. And then, hopefully, when I started traveling Africa, I hope to meet Wodemaya. Wodemaya is my Shemeji. How do you say Shemeji? Brother-in-law. <laughs> Not like real, real, but the wife, who is a Trudy, is from my tribe, which is the Luo. So, I look at him as my Shemeji. So I want to put in work so that by the time I meet Wodemaya, Wodemaya has been on YouTube for nine years. I looked at it. Ayam Marwa has been a YouTuber for... The first video Ayam Marwa posted was seven years ago, if I'm right, John, right? Yes. Seven years ago. Ayam Marwa has uh, two point... Two point four. Two point four videos on YouTube. I just hit 300 and something in one year. Uh, so 300 and something, 300 times 7, that is, if I'm able to give you guys 300 videos, 300 purposeful videos, meaningful and inspirational videos, for 7 years, that would give us... Uh, 300 times 7, 2,100. Yeah, 2,100. Mm, 2,100. Marwa has been working. This guy, that's why I'm saying he deserves the crowning. 
I mean, a lot of people have crowned him in their own way. But I want to crown this guy in a very special way. One, you know, when I met his son, I felt the power. Mayugno. If you're Mayugno supporter, drop a comment in the comment section. But you imagine if I was giving 300 videos. So I haven't given enough because just, I'm just hitting one year and I'm at 300 videos. So I really need to work as much as Marwa worked. And then, would well, admire I didn't check, but nine years consistently on YouTube, that's a lot of work that they put in. These people deserve crowning. And so, um, I really want to crown these people. I don't want to act like I'm the first YouTuber. There are people I got inspiration from, Vin and Lenny, I crown them every day. Shout out, you already know, Vin and Lenny. <laughs> And also, um, a good number of supporters on my YouTube are from Vin and Lenny as well. I mean, well, there are people who knew me, but also a huge number of them are from Vin and Lenny. So they built me to where uh, I am at. I don't want ever to forget that. And um, like I said, our relationship is symbiotic. Now they started a whole group of YouTubers, like Share with John, Queen Quinta, Summer Park Bro, Omo Shoes, Vince Brother and uh who else you know this the family has grown i'm the first one of that family and i really appreciate the support i'm I, i'm supporting them as well by supporting john supporting sama supporting emotion and that i believe that's the way to go I'm, I'm i don't really feel entitled to anything that they're doing to me right now whatever they do to me i take it with gratitude but i also don't want to burden them with anything that's why i was able can you imagine my parents started YouTube before me, but now I have more videos than they have on YouTube. So I've been putting in work. And so to John, who is behind the camera, John. Yes, yes. <laughs> Put in work, bro. Put in work so that you can be supported. Sama. Put in work. Omosh. Quinta. Put in work. Make videos. Make meaningful, purposeful, educational videos. Share with the world, okay? And what I love about uh, Kibera YouTube family is we try to be diverse. What you find in my my uh, YouTube is not what you'll find in uh, John's YouTube. So back to it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you're new here, please remember to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 3K by the end of the month. It's my birthday month and you guys <laughs> share the love. And I hope you're also receiving the love from Victor's with Victor. So uh, before the celebration, it will be, it's been enough of the celebration. Now we're getting over it. Uh, I was doing villages. I'm I'm really indented, and I'm commi I'm committed to be doing um, stories in the 14 villages in Kibera by end of this month. Because I probably might be traveling soon, and I want to cover stories 14 villages. So we already did Katwekera, we did Kianda. We did uh, Kis Kisumundogo, where we did the story. Check the video down there. And we also have done Olympic. That's where we are. If you guys want content on where the surrounding here, I can also take you through it. Mm, but uh, what else have we done? Soweto. Soweto. Five, four villages. Five villages. So today we're going to go to Mashimoni. I'm going to show you guys the sixth village. So with that being said, I think we have about um, 14 minus 6, that's 8. We have about 8 villages, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm really committed to be doing this content within the next uh, 8 days. Victor should victors. Let me know if you're ready. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> So this is uh, this is interesting. Moja, Kenya. Moja, Kenya actually means uh, unity in Kenya. And then here we have Undugu. Undugu hi. Can this lady love? Undugu means brotherhood. Brotherhood, and then. So these people did this at this is like the main street towards uh, Mashimoni and uh, what's interesting a routine that I started I see this in the US mostly 
But a routine that has really started in the hood is this. And yeah, then, Nkopoa, this. Can you show them? Come, come, come. Yeah, so. So this, this brother invited us. Good. Yeah, I'm a Victor Suit, Victor TV, Naipa. Then you should speak English, yeah? But you're speaking good English, how did you know? So we met Deno. Deno is from here. You're from here, see you? Yeah. What does this mean? This means. Talk to our viewers. Uh, this means, yeah? Yeah, so it's been a routine in a lot of villages. So if one guy reforms, they throw a, a shoe, a pair of shoe up. If another one reforms, they throw another one. Yeah, they have boots. So, so, so. I would get a pair of boots. So, they know nice to meet you. I'll see you around, bro. I'm the man. So, so, so. Hi. Kunja, your phone. There's an interesting uh, change and difference every village in Kibera, this is village 6 so you can let us know in the comment section what do you think you see as the difference there's a calmness that comes yeah i i, I enjoy walking around this area of Kibera because it's very a bit it's a bit chill it's, it's a bit chill it doesn't have too much energy so anytime i want to come down i walk towards this side of Kibera and it calms you down you can feel it right so this also used to be the river i showed you guys from the other side so the river comes all the way from there and it comes all the way you see now the water is a little bit kidogo here uh, but it's still not clean even up to this point you see it's very black and dark yeah so we're getting into the mashimoni areas and ladies and gentlemen just come keep enjoying you see there are less people that you see on the street don't show them this there are less people that you see on the street on this side of Kibera. So keep coming with me and I hope you are enjoying. <laughs> so we're just getting into the Mashimoni, the village inside. If you are from Mashimoni and you are representing, make sure you click. So you realize in Mashimoni also, uh, the walking space is a bit wider as opposed to the other villages that we've done and uh, then you should show them like a wide shot of, of the Mashimoni village as to the main road and uh, so about you then and so the beauty of this side of Mashimoni like we are in the hood right now but it's very calm you realize the calmness that is within Mashimoni, different from every other village in Kibera. The only similarity is maybe the garbage and everything. This is a school. And so what's interesting with Mashimoni, I told you guys about uh, Kibera. So now there's a road that separates Mashimoni from Saba. And Saba and Lugunyagi Champion. Yeah, so there is this road, it's a super highway. This super highway leads to Karen. Karen is one of the the first class and uh, uh, neighborhoods in Nairobi and to Langata as well. Langata is middle class, you can show them. The the blue houses and the red roofs, that's where Langata is and the national housing. And so this is all Mashimoni then there is this road so it's it's really crazy because the rich pass through kibera to go to their rich places uh, they're rich in everything yeah, so we're gonna get deep inside i'm not from this village but i hope we are safe with john uh, yes huh? yes of course we're safe. <laughs> john is confident i'm not from this village so I'm, i would not be very confident so whatever happens happens yeah, but you still realize, in as much as people are doing very little business, um, this place is always calm. I don't know if they have kids around, but it's usually very uh, compared to a lot of areas in in 
Kibera, the neighborhood. This is like one of the. Ah, look at that mini meow. Chikau. Yeah, compared to a lot of villages in Kibera. Yeah, it's very calm. Then you see the structures. They build mud, mud houses. And then on top they build. Uh, um iron sheet houses so this is really this is a, a trend that started um a few years ago when people realized the population was growing so, so they realized the population was growing and the number of housing was a bit minimal so the tenants actually even my house i built like this but mine is a uh, stone like this one but then uh, uh, on top i have like the iron sheets i don't know why i'm scratching i should i crash out this morning <laughs> yeah so people are building houses on top so uh the houses on top are relatively cheaper than the houses down because they are hot and um so during the day when it's sunny like this and you're with your girlfriend and you <laughs> then you're gonna sweat you're gonna have to sweat so yeah that's the advantage you eat and also the high on sheet outsets are a bit cold so that's why they are relatively cheap when you compare to the houses at the bottom yeah So we also have uh, around here by the thing. We have um, youth projects. Kusam. Uh, yeah, this is for a football club. So they put in um, they put in um, uh, public toilets. They put in uh, toilet projects and sanitary projects. And I think this area has really done a lot more better compared to other areas in Kibera when it comes to sanitation. It's not the best, but you can tell that they have really improved in doing it. Because a lot of young people here, uh, talented young people and footballers uh, that are coming together to collect as less as a quarter dollar or an eighth a dollar to clean their community so during uh, the weekends you'll find a lot of groups that are doing garbage collection and stuff like that and uh, these youth groups uh, prioritize um, sanitation as part of the activity income generating activity for their community so it's kind of like giving back to the community and uh, receiving a token of appreciation from the community. So we just went uh, around uh, Mashimoni. And um, yeah, so this is how we collect water around here. So we just went around Mashimoni and uh, guess where we are? We are by the railway line. So the railway line actually cuts across Kibera. Um, it's one of the iconic things in Kibera. You are in Kibera. The railway line will always be one of the common things that you'll meet in Kibera. And funny thing about Mashimoni is one of the cleanest, but if you look at the structures, the kind of uh, very old structures. Um, uh, so Mashimoni has uh, very old structures compared to any area of Kibera. It has a bit, of it, a little bit of rustiness. They, you can compare to the other village. The other villages are very, are also rusty. Kibera generally is rusty, but if you compare the rustiness, Mashimoni is rusty than uh, other villages in Kibera. But cleanly hygiene, Mashimoni is cleaner than other villages in Kibera. Yeah, so this is Mashimoni. Um, we probably gonna walk around and see more and then I'll see what I can show you guys. I hope you're enjoying. This is the sixth village in Kibera and I hope you're enjoying the tour with us, Victor Street Victor. We really appreciate and celebrate you this humble beginning. Everybody who's been part of the growth, we really celebrate and appreciate you. So, 
Uh, the other thing that um, so you see in this garbage, in this uh, pits, when we were kids, sometimes you'd find a very little uh, infant, like almost. I don't know if it was due to abortion or just death, but you'd find uh, dead, dead small babies thrown in such garbages. So that's the memory I have of such garbages in in the neighborhood and it was happening a lot a lot i don't know about now really but uh it used to happen a lot i don't know why i'm scratching like this oh my god maybe it's an allergy yeah but this is mashimoni i'm really enjoying giving you guys a tour i'd promised to do the 14 villages of kibera we're gonna go to the main road and then we'll do a shoot from the overview there maybe in the midst we might find a story let's go <coughs> You know it's crazy cause but it's in Kunanji Apple. Oh yeah, that's being crazy. Yeah, that's pumpkin. Those guys are planted pumpkin. Interesting. So you realize how precious the roads are? Yeah. Into the village. So ladies and gentlemen, we are still in Mashimoni village and uh, I happen to meet a buddy here, bro. Tell us your name. My, my name is Steven, Steven Mwala. You have to be a little bit la uh, louder, Steven. My name is Steven Mwala. Steven Mwala. So I met Steven, Steven at one of the uh, gambling spots. What is gambling for you, Steven? Mambo? Just a game of I don't know if these guys can hear you. Maybe John, you can walk on this side because I'm a bit louder than Steven. So what is gambling? Gambling is just a game of enjoyment. Game of enjoyment. <laughs> you can you can find sign for for enough money. So, so who introduced gambling. you to gambling? That's my friend. Your friend. Yeah. When was this? That's on 2019. 2019 is the first time you started gambling. Yeah, I was there playing Ludo. Ah. And so yeah. Ludo is also gambling, but it's more of a street gambling. Um, I think they do it also in Jamaica. Do you know the history of Ludo? Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, what's the history of Ludo? The history of Ludo was starting in Jamaica. It was, a, it was just a game, of, a game of to enjoy, but now these people make it to be a, a gambling place. Ah, okay. So if you lose Ludo, then you you give me the money. Yes. So when we do this, maybe you want to explain to people how you do Ludo. No, no, you just bring your four people and we are just bringing over the number. If you, are, you have more numbers, so you can be the, the number one, so you will get them the money. Ah, okay. Uh, it's a game of numbers, yes. as well as gambling. Yes. So you just walk around. Do you know this room? Yes, I know. How long have you lived in Mashimoni? Now it's 23 years. 20, oh, you are 23 years old, yes, so you were born and brought up here. Yes, I, was, I was born in yeah. What should you want to tell our viewers about Mashimoni? Mashimoni is a good place. Mashimoni, the, name, the meaning of Mashimoni is just... The, if you are down, the, the meaning of Mashimoni. We go this way. Right. So, Mashimoni. Mashimoni is a Swahili word actually. Yes. Uh, that means uh, a hole or a ditch. I'm not really sure the history of yes. Mashimoni. I'm not from this village, I'm from the other village. But Steven, yes. so you and gambling, uh, how much do you think you've spent on gambling since you started in 2019? I, I think it's like 200,000. This guy has spent 200,000, that's about $2,000. Yes. <laughs> how much have you made from gambling? Nothing, you just, if you win today, you not in the gambling, it's just like that. 
So, are you have you been keeping records of your wins or your losses? Yes, I, the, the record I'm keeping also, also losses, not winning. I can't remember if I win at one point. But even now, I just found you at a gambling place. So, if you've been losing, Stephen, let's have a seat here. If you've been losing, then why have you been gambling? Gambling is just it's an addicted game. So, you it's feel like you're addicted yes, to gambling? Yes, I'm addicted. If you go there, you, will just, you will just feel that you want, you want to play. So, I just met you there. You just entered there. Were you going to gamble? Yes, of course. I'm How gonna... much were you going to place? I don't know. If, if, I, if I place, I win. I will. I, I will. How much were you going to place today? Uh, only five games. Oh, uh, five games. That's how much? That's the only two hundred. Two hundred. So that's about two dollars that is going to place yes. now. Today we have a token of appreciation for you. Do you also want to gamble with it? No. <laughs> we want to see where is the two hundred that you are going to gamble with. I was just going to play. With, I was going to play with the investor. Ah, okay. Yeah, so we are interested to see you gamble. I hope they will allow us. But Stephen, um, what is your hope with gambling? No, for gambling, is just if we stand, one day we win many money, so I can stop the gambling. So now you've spent about $2,000 in gambling from 2019. That's about three years. If you had the discipline to be able to save this money, Stephen, Two thousand dollars. What business do you think two thousand dollars would have started for you? Business, I would bring just uh, a small business like selling all those many clothes or or, or something. Ah, uh, so you'd open a business of one. So today, for example, if you went and gambled okay. and you got a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings, that's about one thousand dollars. What would you do with it? First of all, if I get one hundred thousand, I will stop the gambling. Yes, that's a, that's just a, a watch of money, so I cannot open any. You business. have to be a bit loud, Stephen. If I get one hundred thousand dollars, I will I will stop gambling. Of course, I will start uh, any business. So can I can stop the gambling? Gambling is an addictive game. I can stop the gambling. So do you feel like you're addicted to gambling? Yes, I'm addicted. Who do you blame for the addiction? I blame my friends. <laughs> So Stephen blames his friends for the, <laughs> for introducing him to gambling. Yeah. Do you want to introduce me to gambling? Would you suggest that I start no, gambling? I cannot allow you to do such a thing. It's a good, it's, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. A bad okay, thing. I appreciate that. And I hope people who are watching now know gambling is not a good thing. I take it from Stephen for first hand, first hand experience. So Stephen, what do you do? I'm just, a, I'm just a rider. Yo, you are border border rider. It's a motorbike rider. How much do you think you make a day? You have your own bike or you have your boss? I have my boss. Ah, okay. So one thousand. One thousand a day. That's about ten dollars, and then you pay him how much? Five hundred. Five hundred. And so, if you gamble with two hundred, you're left with uh, three hundred. Ah, okay. So you live alone or you with your parents? I live alone. How how is life for you? Life is nowadays, love is too hard, so we just, just, I mean, just trying for people. Yeah? Life is too hard now, uh -huh. just trying. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so I wish you all the best. Um, I hope they'll allow us to see you gambling in Mashimoni. So we are in Mashimoni village, like we had told you, ladies and gentlemen. And I happened to meet a young uh, peep here, Steven, uh, who is an addicted gambler and is advising young people not to gamble. What is Mashimoni known for? Mashimoni known for a cool place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you guys, it's a very cool, it's place. A cool place. And there's no any any, any violence here. It's a good place. Ah. Okay. We love we love everyone. Ah, they love everyone. As we were coming in, I showed you guys on the street. As we were coming in, they have the Amani, which is peace, yes. Undugu, which is brotherhood, and so many more on the street. And then you could tell that uh, there were those uh, shoe, uh, boots that were hung on the electricity line. That means a lot of young people that reformed, they hung the boots. Yes. 
yeah so Stephen, thank you very much for your time let's go and see if they will allow us to see you put the so if you're gambling or if you're betting yes. how long does it take uh for you to see if you won something or lost something it's not only one two minutes only. two minutes yeah, only okay only beautiful i hope they will allow us so we can see Stephen doing gambling but you want to stop gambling i don't know how how when do you want to stop gambling why not now no the thing the thing is that i want to stop i really like stop gambling but the same way i go that place i feel like i want to put some money so i can get more money uh, so you can make more money yes ah uh, okay so we're gonna go with steven he'll probably talk with these guys and see if he can gamble before we finish but if if uh, steven why can't we make this your last gamble? Yes, I wish. Uh, if you win it, if you lose it, let it be your last battle. Yes, no. gamble. Yes. <laughs> I hope you're seeing this for sure, yes, for, sure. This for sure. So, John, see you hung up, he asked them. Yes, for so ladies and gentlemen we are at this gambling place this is where steven uh, gambles yes. and so this is how it looks like beautiful screen so tell us what's happening here so this is a soccer game we have soccer game in champions league we have dogs we know that umboa and the spin ah okay this is dogs why is it called dogs dog and horses so, uh, oh, so you can gamble with dogs and horses, yeah, yeah. and here yeah. the this Champion soccer, League. Yeah, soccer, soccer, soccer. Ah, soccer bet, and, and then and then we also have the spin. Yeah, ah, okay. So, uh, today you want to what spin. what has been the biggest win here? The biggest win here, I think, is spin. Ah, okay. How much did they win? If you yes. Huh? I'm to share win the most. I share win gap. Yes. Uh, the most you can win is uh, nope. the I mean the person who's ever won here the most. The speed. Yeah. Anything. Like the most amount of money that won. 40, 4,000. 4,000. 4, that, that is the Oh, okay. That's the biggest amount that has been won here. Oh, yeah, that's about $40. Okay. Steve, let's see you go. Some soccer. So he's gonna bet soccer because I think he's better at soccer. Yes. So, number one, number three, and two. So he's picking number one, number two, number three, and two. How much are you placing? How much are you placing? Twenty shillings. So he's placing about a quarter dollar. <laughs> ah, okay. So he got this receipt. What is this receipt for? This for if you win, we put it there. Ah, okay. Okay. So I give you one or two, and two or three. One over three and two over three. I don't understand. <laughs> so one over three is only four goals. Okay. And four goals and number two four goals. But Steve, you said you'd not introduce me to gambling, and you're introducing me to gambling. <laughs> Okay, okay. And so in this case? So the lady starts up from waiting away if I would win. One over three, okay. So no, so no, there's no goal there. Number one. So welcome back. So is it him who's controlling this game? No, it's not him. Ah, it's automatic. Yes, I can see. Ah, let's see. Interesting, ladies and gentlemen. It's an interesting thing. I think um a lot of people... How many young people do you think are gambling in in, in, in uh, Mashimoni? So these are all gambling papers. All gambling papers. This is from today, yeah? Because I'm assuming yesterday they cleaned. And uh, now it's about noon. So let's see. So explain to us how it's over and how you lost. So this number two, I get number two. Number one, what do you want to do? I was waiting for one goal. Ah, okay. And I don't win the game. So you didn't win. So are you planning to continue? No, I don't think so. I think this will be the end of my gambling. Ah, okay. Hey, I hope you're not just saying it for the camera, Steven. Uh, so I hope this is the end of my gambling. So Steven lost. Uh, he already paid 20 Kenyan shillings, which is about a quarter dollar. 
and he lost to one over three. I don't know how that works. I wish I knew, but Stephen has advised me that he doesn't want to introduce me to gambling. Yes. What do you want to tell our viewers? <laughs> so, so today, I think this is the, the end of my gambling. I will just make sure there's no more friends that are gambling in this machine money. Ah, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you already have seen, uh, Steven from Mashimoni took us through a gambling game. Uh, one of the things that, what do you think? Do you think uh, people make money or lose money from this? In gambling, there's no making money. The, the, the owner will not allow us to win. This, this is a business of, of someone. So they, they will not allow us to win. So we cannot beat the gambling. We cannot beat them. You cannot beat the system of gambling. So if you are watching there, I'm talking to Stephen from experience and he's giving us this from personal experience. So if you are watching there, please remember Stephen say, don't be introduced to gambling. I, I never gambled. I'm really happy I never gambled. Uh, now from Stephen's experience, uh, I don't ever intend to be a gambler and uh, to play any of the gambling games. But uh, whoever is in it and is addicted to it or has an experience, please drop a comment on the comment section. Stephen, it was nice meeting you and hanging yes. out with you. Thank you. So Thank much. you very much, my brother. Until I see you again in the next videos, adios. <laughs>